I filmed a lot of videos, mostly me doing my hair. You're going to be like, why does she look so different in this video? This is really strange. So I'm making an intro for every video that I'm going to release that happens to be from the past year to two to maybe even three years. So this video you are about to watch is about me dyeing my hair and it is from July 1st, 2021. Give this video a like and uh, subscribe to my channel. That would be freaking awesome. I have so much content that will be coming to you guys. I finally feel like I can make YouTube videos on a consistent basis, so that's pretty cool. Hello. So, it's been a while since I've made a YouTube video. Um, a lot has been happening. I'm gonna try to start making videos again. Sorry for my absence, you guys. Um, YouTube is weird, especially when you're trying to work a full-time job. Anyway, I have lots of stories from that just working in general i have a lot of things that have happened to me just this year so i'm going to show you guys today me fixing my hair it doesn't look bad i know um i went and got it done in denver by a professional so that i could get my roots done because my roots were down to like here probably farther down so what i had her do was blend the colors that i already had up into my roots i had the front of my hair green and then the back purple and the other side pink. So basically what happened was she put the green way too far on my head. It's like farther than half my head is green. So what I'm gonna do today is fix that, put some purple up to like probably, maybe not there per se, but pretty close to there, like there. And then do the same thing with the pink. It's a bit uneven in the back, like, it seems like 75% of my head is purple, and then just a little tiny chunk is pink. So I want to try to even that out as well. So, yeah, you guys will see me do that today. I'm going to go take a dab really quick before I start. So next time you see me, I might be really stoned. Okay, so I realized after smoking <laughs> and getting stoned that I don't have any more of my Arctic Fox purple rain that causes this amazing color um, all I have is my pink still and then I have this which I've literally had for over a year now probably like two years um, it's viral color wash by celeb luxury I've used it in a video before I know I have but it's literally shampoo that's very vibrant purple so it's a bit darker than what happens when you use Purple Rain. I've used Purple Rain for a while now, and I literally mix it with so much conditioner, and it still comes out like this crazy purple color and stays vibrant. Like, you see how vibrant this is compared to this green and this pink? Like, this color just sticks so much. In another video, I used an entire bottle of diluter from Arctic Fox and it was bigger than the bottle of, it was this size and it was bigger than the bottle of Purple Rain I used and the Purple Rain still turned out. So there's no way to dilute that color. This is kind of the same, but it's darker. You can see like that shade of purple. So we'll see what happens. So I've got that for my purple and I have Obviously, the Electric Paradise for my pink from Arctic Fox. And then I'm going to try something new. I'm trying the Vivid by Pravana. And it's Mystical Mint. So I want it to be like a little bit more minty. Like I, I kind of hope it's light like that. I don't know. This I'm going to do... It's really confusing now, the order I have to do this in, because this color wash is a shampoo. So I think I'm going to do this last, just before I get into the shower. I'm just going to start with the pink and then put the green in the front, I guess. Ooh. I need to get music going, that's what I need to do. I want to listen to this song really bad.
So it's time to do this. I've let the mystical mint sit in my hair for about 20 minutes. Very weird color. I was really hoping it would be pastel. More like the color I already had. Um, it's blue almost, which I actually like. That's okay. Um, seems like it's a little bit uneven though because the top part of my hair faded to like more of a yellowy mint and then the bottom stayed this like weird bluish color from before when I got it done in Denver and then this kind of matches this color but up here is a little harder to turn so it's looking a little weird but whatever so I have this whole side that's purple and I'm going to have to get this green part to be purple too, using this only. I really don't want to accidentally get purple in here. It doesn't even really need to be touched, honestly. It's so dark, but I probably should. So the thing about this is you need to get your hair wet because it's shampoo, so... finished with this shampoo it's really dark looks like it's gonna work if I don't keep touching it onto here on accident <laughs> I'm going to rinse it hello so this is how my hair turned out very lovely it's actually two days later I wish I would have gotten what it looked like just after the shower but when it was wet it looked like this was really darker so I had to let it dry but yeah although this isn't exactly the mint color that I want it still looks really good with this color you can definitely tell where I went over the green I had before because this pink is a little bit lighter but it's still it covered it up pretty nicely and then it fades into a darker pink because I went over it because it was already pink and then over here it's definitely a little bit weird because all I had to color with was the purple shampoo that I use but it still went over that um, very light minty green color very well so I have like this patch of darker purple that blends into that old arctic fox purple that I have back here and that's partially because I didn't have enough purple shampoo to go over all of it but I also kind of like. I realized how much I love this purple color and I don't want it to go away fully so I left it, I let it kind of fade around my head so I don't know what the back looks like but I know I really like the front so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I am really gonna try to make more videos I say that in every single one of my videos so yeah I'm just a mentally ill struggling weirdo so Sorry if you don't see me on YouTube too much. I enjoy making them, but it's hard. Mentally, it's hard to make YouTube videos. That's as much as I can sum it up. So yeah, whatever you guys are doing, have a good day, good night, good evening. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. That would be great. And subscribe because I'm always gonna be here and I'm always gonna be making random And one day I will get on my grind and just make endless videos and I can't fuck Wait, until I'm mentally there, so yeah, be patient with me, stay tuned, mental health matters, bye guys. Your tragedy.